Hello guys, hope you are doing good. Today we are going to discuss about scorecard rule configuration in Pega and how it can be used in Pega. Let's get started into the topic. So we have many rules under decision category. So if you see rule records decision, we have something called a scorecard. So scorecard is one of the decision category rule available in Pega. Mainly it is used to derive decision relates if you have number of factors for example take a banking application so if a user is having a credit card and uh, the respective user income uh, lies uh, between different ranges and user age also we want to consider so if you see this you have many components to take a decision whether that respective user is qualified for taking a credit card or not qualified so in this case you know you would be sitting and uh, doing many uh, permutations and combinations or you would be sitting and seeing how we can configure this uh, particular business scenario by using decision shapes or uh, decision trees or decision tables or some one rules and all so it makes uh, the business implementation very messy so pega has come up with uh, something called as scorecard rules it actually creates segmented based on the condition and the output of scorecard is a score suppose we will be deriving our cbil score based on the history that we have by using different credit cards or by taking or paying some different loans so in this way, uh, you can configure scorecard. So we will see how we can implement it and how we can test it and all. And where this can be invoked. Scorecard rules can be invoked from flow. For in flow, we have scorecard rule component. And in decision strategies, we can uh, invoke this. And we can invoke through expressions. We know that all, all the decisioning rules can be invoked with this uh, obtain value function. So in the same line, scorecard also can be referenced from this function. I have configured a scorecard rule. This is how a scorecard rule looks. And this is scorecard tab where you can have combiner functions like sum, minimum, max, average. So what is this sum, minimum, max, average? So you have added this predictor expression, right? This is row 1, this is row 2, this is row 3. Suppose you want to sum the results of this, you have to give sum. Suppose you want to take average of these three conditions, you have to give average and you want to check minimum this value should be there for our business scenario. Then you have to use the respective minimum and maximum functions. And this is results where you can see uh, results configured whether this is disqualified or qualified. You can add multiple results as well based on your business scenario. And if you want to add some audit notes, you can give this audit note so that in log files and all, uh, whenever this scorecard rule is invoked, you can see some auditing over there. This is based on class specification history. So for this, my particular uh, business scenario is now you have a credit card and your income lies between different ranges and based on the customer age, I have to give whether this particular customer is eligible for credit card or not so i have got a requirement like if cutoff value is 300 means if uh, the uh, this uh, respective scorecard gives value less than 300 means we have to give result as disqualified if the scorecard uh, gave more result than cutoff value then we can determine customer as qualified customer now i am giving some this is a boolean property has cards this is true and these are the different conditions. So if this particular customer is already having a credit card with uh, the respective organization, we are giving score as 100, otherwise zero. This is weightage. And this is income. Next we are taking income into 12 love. So per month income, we are taking from the respective customer. The full amount, suppose 500 into 12 is 6,000 then we will get less than or equal to 10,000 means we will get 50 score over here and age age is uh, varies from 40 to 50 we are giving 150 score let's see how we can uh, test this go to actions um, you can see here we have given predictor expressions as three inputs these three are not nothing but 
predictors for this particular scorecard rule. Now I am just giving yes, I have a scorecard and my income per month is 6000 and my age is 32 and I am running this. You can see here the result is qualified and I got a score of 350 because first has cards given is true means I have already this card with me. So my score is 100 which is configured over here 100. Next my income is 72,000 means it was falling under this category less than or equal to 74,000. So here I have scored 150 and this is age. This age I this has fallen under this category. So I got 100 plus 150, 250, 350. So that's why I am qualified. So if I go to results tab, this is qualified because the, I have got greater than or equal to 300. Suppose go to scorecard rule and I am going to take average of this. If I click average and save it will be uh, showing an error. Why? Because so it was asking see minimum score is 16.66 maximum score is 166.6 why because 500 divided by 3 it was uh, expecting so I am giving here 140.5 now if I run this is false for example and my income is just 4000 and my age is just 22 and I am clicking on run I am disqualified to avail a credit card from this respect to bank because has cards is false that's why I got scores 0 because I have given this well otherwise 0 and now my income is 48,000 here this gave me around 150 points and my age is 22 here which is giving 50 so my score value here is 200. Now if you give 200 by 3, it's 66.66 which is this score but I have given my cutoff value as 140. That's why I am disqualified to take this respect to credit card. And this is a simple example that I have shown to you guys. You can have many expressions over here you can have many conditions over here suppose if it is false you want to give some 50 points you can configure in that way because we have multiple permutations and combinations over here and you can use function in all these input why because you can have settings tab over here and this weightage you guys explore and comment on this video how this weightage comes under the picture and how it is useful for us while evaluating a scorecard rule and you can add many predictor expressions by clicking plus over here and you can delete this and you can uh, use whatever property you want but make sure that suppose this is a has cards and here my condition is true it should be a boolean character and here you are doing some multiplication so this income should be of integer property and this is age it should be of integer property you make sure to use the respective property types while deriving your scorecard rules and now we will be seeing how this scorecard rule can be invoked in a flow for example this one you can go here decision and click on this and you can see type now I can give some scorecard model over here and I can give the rule uh, score okay so the output of this score rule would be the results step that you have qual uh, configured whether it is disqualified or qualified based on this you have to route your respective flows and uh, the other usage we have is decision status I will be making a video shortly on strategy rule and how we can invoke a scorecard component from the strategy rule this is simple one invoke expressions how we will do for decision entry and decision table this is one of the function that we have and for your reference i would be posting these links so if i have messed up or if you did not understand my explanation you can go and read over here hope you have learned a new concept in uh, pega and make sure you watch my older videos as well and be updated. Thank you.
Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share, like, comment my videos.